one of my first memories of a giant sci-fi, or not sci-fi, fantasy epic. Um, it's been 30 plus years since the original film. Uh, and what a great way to continue the legacy of Willow. Uh, this Thank show you. does a really good job of tying into the movies, as well as still being accessible to new audiences. How did you find that balance, John? It's a day to day thing you're finding. And I mean, I think, you you know, as a fan of the of the movie, it's it's not hard for me to lean into the parts of it that I love and 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 want to continue the story and, and build out the world that George and, and Ron had so sort of beautifully designed and, and, and rendered. Um, but at the same time, it's, you know, one of the charms of Willow is that it has at its center this performance by uh Val Kilmer that's very contemporary and very unusual and surprising and exciting to watch and I think we wanted to sort of let that too be something that we continued on in spirit which was to have contemporary voices voices that you weren't used to hearing in fantasy be sort of uh, your guides through it so that you get this very unusual and, and specific experience of going to a fabulous world but being with people you could imagine were your friends. Now, uh, you've brought so much depth to the aspect of the world that weren't that were uh, initially solo villainous, uh, like yeah. Queen uh, uh, Bermora, uh, Ber Ber uh, yeah. and uh, through her through her descendants, uh, oh. we got we expand on the Bone Reapers and even the trolls. Uh, what inspired this approach? Well, you know, I enjoy the the element of these stories where there's opportunities to build out in fun and, and surprising ways. And one of the ones that seemed really sort of primed for a great retconning was Kale, who was a character that I loved and, and thought this is a villain that really made an impact on me as a child. That mask, that Skeletor mask that was so... It was such a strong image. And I thought like, well, what can we do with Kale since he's dead? And I thought, well, what would be interesting to just imagine for a second that the, the story were from Kale's point of view and, and who could he have been and, and what could he have endured that brought him into the service of this, you know, evil queen. And maybe out of that, there was story to be told about generations and about oppression and about why you choose certain paths to war that are surprising and i thought that was a fun that's one of the great joys for me of getting to work in in something beloved like this is is to the opportunity to say like well what if we added a whole dimension to something incredibly simple early on amazing now allura dannon is almost this legendary larger than life character can you yeah. talk about making her feel more grounded in in her humanity Absolutely. I mean, it, it was a challenge because it was someone I'd been thinking about since I was eight years old. I, I was wondering what had happened to this girl, you know, and how did she deal with the responsibility that was sort of thrust upon her and, and the, the name that was thrust upon her? And what would that mean? And since I wanted to tell that whole story, I thought it would be interesting to start from a place where she doesn't even know and sort of be able to track it through its entire life with this revelation that that she is this great, this person of enormous power, how she's going to access that power, and then how she's going to control it. And that felt like a, a nice shape for a story that could follow the original film. Well, John, amazing job on, on Willow. I absolutely so love glad. it. I love the group dynamic because it almost feels like a D&B campaign. Um, that it is exactly so what fun. we were after. And particularly in our episodes, like when we're, we're in the troll mines or something like that, we were like, okay, how do we advance these characters through a great D&D campaign that feels real and part of a bigger journey? Yeah, it almost felt like I was playing it with my friends, a Willow version, but thank yeah, you so much absolutely. for your time, John. I appreciate it. Uh, it's great talking to you.